So I'm really excited for the faculty, staff, and students who are going to use this facility, which is by far uh, is a premier building. It's got all the bells and whistles. It's got everything that our faculty and students need to do the work in an exemplary fashion. Come on in. Come on in one more time. The new building's taken a long time to happen, uh, but the fruits of our labors have now come to fruition, so I'm very excited, but I'm really excited for the faculty and students who are going to be able to use this building, because uh, it's the state of the art, it's got all the bells and whistles and all the things that will help our student learning and, and, and teaching. This is a linear accelerator machine. It is a machine that uh, magnifies x-rays basically to um, higher levels, uses uh, mega voltage instead of kilo voltage to uh, treat cancer patients. It creates radiation um, to uh, kill disease cells. This is basically what you see in a hospital. We were actually at the hospital for our clinical training, so we had to go or our first semester. And we had a small classroom over at uh, Corellian Roanoke Memorial, and uh, we had to, to steal time between patients to go look at a linear accelerator um, and look, look but don't touch kind of a thing at first. So this will give, uh, this will be the machine that uh, they'll be able to work on. Um, I guess there's only two in the country, two facilities that have a uh, usable machine, um, aside from the fact that it doesn't produce the lethal doses of radiation that, that you use to treat. So. And I think that uh, the overall feel of, of being a student in a student environment um, with uh, this technology and all the tools available, will just help overall. Um, it, it makes you feel more part of uh, the community college as opposed to um, an offshoot uh, in a dark dungeony type of room. We were able to get one, it wasn't cheap, but we got one and, uh, and if you look at it, it's like it's new. Uh, so that's one of the key pieces of equipment that really nobody else has but us. So I'm very ex excited about that. We had to pay for it, but it really, it really worth, worth the money. This building is really allied health programs and natural sciences programs, which are really all filled with waiting lists. So the question is, do we expand healthcare programs? And the answer is probably yes. We may go into physical therapy or some programs like that. We may go into medical lab technician. The MLT program, medical lab technicians, are, is, is one we're actually looking at right now. Uh, some of the hospitals and uh, lab folks have asked us to start a program in that. We've been given a state-of-the-art building and it is not only updated with all current equipment and whatnot for science education, um, but it is aesthetically amazing. So you can't help but just be motivated to do great things when you walk into the building. Mm -hmm.